Hi there, I'm Rossi with the Tenno Game Club, and today I'll be talking about Citizen Sleeper. Citizen Sleeper is a story-heavy RPG centered around making some tough decisions with limited information and resources. Your journey begins as a shipping container is opened and you are found inside, barely alive. Next step, you gotta stay alive. Each turn, or cycle, and as the game calls it, you'll have limited resources to spend in a few ways. Do you want to become a regular at the bar and get to know some people? Maybe spend some time down over in the low end, getting to know those residents. Maybe prove yourself a green thumb and you work over in the green way. This is a new start for you. If you can free to become whomever and whatever you want. You'll need to prove yourself every step of the way though. The people of the space station have seen a lot in their lives and they're slow to trust. The gameplay revolves around action dice, which are randomized each turn. Dice are 1 through 6, with higher numbers meaning a higher chance of success at whatever task you are attempting. There is also a hacking side of the gameplay where your cybernetic mind can interact with the station itself, and in here is where you'll be able to make good use of the lower dice such as 1s and 2s. Alternating between these two worlds and utilizing your action dice efficiently will be the main gameplay loop up until you decide how to focus your efforts to achieve your goals. As you achieve these goals, more and more of the station will open up to you with more characters to interact with and more story to unfold. I got sucked in almost immediately by the excellent writing and interesting characters, which are the centerpiece of Citizen Sleeper. Wholeheartedly recommend this to anybody looking for something a little bit different in an RPG. The small caveat that it is a lot of reading, and that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Main story clocks in at 5 or 6 hours, with a few alternate endings based on your choices, so there's a little bit of replay value there. Also, they're working on DLC, with the first one already having been released, currently live. Go check it out. It's $20 on Steam, also available on Game Pass, so give it a whirl, and I think you'll like what you find. This is Rossi, signing off till next time.